made it. Hello, it is Friday, July 5th, and yes, we made it. We made it through the, the week, and we are at our weekend. You guys have completed five days. Yes, you completed five days. I'm so excited. Um, let's see. I'm super excited that you guys completed five days. Today's our fifth day, so we're going to get ready to hop in so you guys can go and enjoy your weekend. I know I am definitely enjoying mine. My husband and I are doing a staycation, y'all. About time. But y'all know I had to convince him. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Shonda. Hey, Tyra. I had to convince him to let me go on live every day for 15 minutes during our staycation. <laughs> So that was a lot of convincing, y'all. So know that y'all are important to me. Y'all are connected to me, which is exactly why today we're talking about connections. We are talking about connections. So if you see me looking back and forth, that's because I am on Facebook Live as well as Zoom. So for those of you that know people that want to get on um, that do not have Facebook, they can always join the Zoom by downloading the Zoom app, and then they can just put in the code 702. Hey, Nina Jones. Hey, girl, you rocking with me all week, girl. Um, they can put in the um, code 702-439-9509 if they want to hop on the Zoom. So let me just show y'all real quick my view. I am in downtown Las Vegas for those of you guys that are out of the state. So here is my current view. Yes, isn't that a beautiful view? I can't wait till nighttime when I see all the lights lit all up. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's hop on so I can get off and get back to my husband and our staycation. So today, you guys, we are talking about connections. Connections, okay? Now, um, connections, oh, that's not good. Let me turn it this way. Um, connections are super important. I don't care what people say. We always get, hey, Tori, we always get, you know, I can do everything by myself. I can do it on my own. Y'all know how we get, us women get, you know, we can do everything on our own. We don't need nobody to help us. We don't need nobody. We got this. And then we cry and talk about we don't have no friends and nobody to talk to. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, right? So, um, Connections are super important. And so today we are coming from Hebrews, the 10th chapter, um, 24 through 25. And it says, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. And that's so good because the Bible is telling us right there that we need connections. God created us to have relationships, to have relationships. Now, we have connections. A lot of us are connected, but the question is, what are you connected to? What type of connections do you have? Do you have healthy connections or do you have unhealthy connections? Okay, because the connections that you have all should be healthy. They should be um, there to spur you on in love and good deeds. So your connection should be building you up. Your connection should be cheering you on. Your connection, your connection should be support, okay? So th those are the types of connections that you should have. And so um, in the devotion for today, you know, it talks about the importance of connections and why we should stay connected. And so whatever we're doing, we should have some sort of connections. Uh, Joyce said having the right connections. Exactly. Absolutely. You know, and we can't think of connections just as, you know, uh, I need to be connected so I can get the hookup. You know, it's not always about getting the hookup. What about yourself? Are you right? Are you a good connection? Are you a right connection? And that's a good question. Think about it. Are you, do you, are you yourself a good, healthy connection for somebody else? Are you showing love and helping people go towards good deeds? All, think about the people that you're connected to. What are you doing in your life to help them? Hey, Donna. 
what are you doing in your life, you know, to, to help somebody else out towards love and good deeds and, you know, showing them the way and, you know, um, encouraging them. Are you doing that? So sometimes it's not just about the other person, but sometimes it's about us and we have to take a look at ourselves. Not only that, what kind of connections are we, um, what's the word? What kind of connections are we attracting? What kind of connections are we attracting? Exactly. Joy says, is there a positive impact? Absolutely. Because it should always be positive. Even when it's constructive criticism, even if as a connection, they tell you something that you might not like, but you know probably is true, that's still a positive connection because they, they're telling you this because they love you and they want to see you do better. They want to see you in good, do, do good deeds. So what types of connections are you attracting? You know, think about the people that surround you, that you're surrounded around. Are they positive? Are they negative? Do they complain? Are they depressed? Are they, you know, um, good to their husbands? Are they good to their children? Um, do they have good work ethic? Do they have goals? Do they have plans? Do they have desires? Do they love Jesus? Okay. Do they love Jesus? You know, not only do they love Jesus, but do they attend church regularly? Do they study the word of God? Do your connections pray with you, okay? Those are the people that you should be attracting. And if you're not attracting those types of people, you got to start thinking about what's going on with yourself. Why are you attracting the type of people that you are attracting? Because like-minded spirits, they attract each other, okay? So that's just food for thought right there. That's a bonus today. <laughs> So, Tori says, evaluate yourself if you're positive or negative. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's good. And sometimes you're like, I ain't negative. I'm not a negative person. And you might not think you're negative, but look at your company that you keep. Look at the company that you keep. Because if they're negative, nine times out of 10, you might just be negative as well. Okay. So think about that. Um, and so, uh oh, let me see. Let me go back here. So in the book, we talked about, you know, the different types of connections and, you know, what you're involved in. So like one example that um, was written in the book was if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to lose weight, you need to be connected to people that are trying to lose weight, right? You want to get connected to some friends that have that same goal as you because you guys can hold each other accountable. You guys can uplift each other. When you don't feel like going to the gym, that connection, that friend can say, girl, come on, get on up. We got to go to this gym. We can't be playing around. No, nah, we ain't going to be eating McDonald's every day. We can't be going to Starbucks every single day. You know, so you got to get around people that are doing what you're doing so that those connections can be healthy and they can help you out and, you know, encourage you when you are falling off or, or vice versa, where you can encourage them when they are falling off. Okay. So that's why it's also connected. Um, it's so important to stay connected to a church. And, you know, a lot of people, I don't want to go to church, da, 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 politics, that, this, the other. Yeah. And that's, that, that's, you know, I understand. I get it. But you know what? you know what, God, I love you. Regardless of what's going on around me, I still love you. You go to your job every day and it's politics and issues and all that stuff, but you got to go to church. Why? Because there's a, a body, there's a body there and you need those connections in that body. You need those connections to help you, you know, learn, go deeper in Christ, um, testimonies, you know, um, encouragement. You need that. You need that. Joy says, motivate each other. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, if you're going to school, you need to stay connected to the people that you're in, cl in your classes with, you know, because you guys have the same mindset. You know, you guys are trying to, you know, you have the same goal so you can help each other. You can encourage each, each other. Um, I even mentioned like, you know, multi-level marketing. You know, I'm so, I'm really big on MLMs and it's so important because, you know, you got to stay connected to those weekly calls because in the beginning when you're not making any money or you don't see it, only way that you're going to stay in it and continue paying that money is to stay connected, stay connected on those calls, stay connected with your team, you know, stay connected with your weekly events because that's how the fire will continue to burn. As, as soon as you, see, that's why the devil wants you depressed. That's why, the, let me tell you, I don't know who this is for. That's why the devil wants you depressed. The devil wants you depressed because you won't be connected. 
And when you start losing your connections and you start to isolate yourself, that's exactly what the enemy wants because then there's nobody there to encourage you, to pray for you, to help you, to, you know, say, come on, girl, we're going to get through this, to touch and agree with you. Okay. That's exactly what he wants us to do is to get by ourselves, feel sorry for ourselves, have low self-esteem, you know, and, and get depressed so we can be by ourselves. But see, as long as we have those healthy connections, that's hard to, ha that, 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 that can't happen. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get into that place when you have those healthy connections of somebody cheering you on, somebody in your corner. Somebody to say, girl, you're going to make it. You're going to get through this. It's all good. It's okay. We're going to get through this thing together. So I encourage you today to really, really search your connections. And that's what the, um, the application is for today. Think about this. What unhealthy connections do I need to let go? What unhealthy connections do I need to let go? Nina said, this is for me. Praise God, Nina. I'll be touching and agreeing with you, Nina, so that you can, you know, recognize your connections and you can see who you need to let go and who needs to stay around you. So definitely, what unhealthy connections do I need to let go? So take a look. Evaluate your circle of friends. Evaluate who you're connected to. Evaluate the people and the types of the people and the, the types of people that come into your life and really ask God, God, are these people for me? Do these people need to be in my life? Are these people connected to me because they see something in me that I don't see in myself, that I can grow, that I can love, that I can, you know, be a better person? Or are these people just tearing me down? Are these people tearing me down? Are they discouraging me? Are they negative? Do they, they, do they, do they not have a positive mindset? Is everything always gossip and this and that? Do they have goals? Do they have visions? Do they have passions? Lord, and most of all, God, do they love you wholeheartedly? Are they a Jesus follower? And that's the most important. Are they a Jesus follower? So definitely look at your connections today. Um, and the next question is, what can I get connected to right now that will help me stay encouraged? Well, I tell you what, I'm so glad that y'all are on this 31 day challenge because that's one connection that I know, I know will help you grow. This challenge will help you grow. And I pray, I pray over each of you that get on every single day. I always put you guys up in prayer because you guys are sacrificing. You guys have been obedient to getting on every single day. And God is going to be a rewarder of that. And I am praying that he blesses you even more, not even more, just expediently. Suddenly, I pray that he blesses you for joining in on this challenge. So I know definitely that's one connection um, that is healthy. Joanne says, absolutely, this is good. This is what I've been talking about. Amen, Joanne. Yes, honey. The, this message is confirmation of a conversation I had today. God, I, praise God, Donna, my girl. I miss you already. I, I want to go double date or something. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely, you know, good. And that's, look, let me tell you, see, God is so good. Donna, Donna is in my spiritual mentoring group. Um, I have a mentor. I do have a mentor. I have a coach and um, she's in our, our academy and she, I, I, I don't know anyone in our academy. I didn't know any of these ladies, but God just put um, Tiana, my mentor, in, she just crossed my path on a podcast on a podcast, you guys. I did not know her from the man in the moon. She lives all the way in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. And God just, you know, put me on her podcast. And there's some things that she said. I was like, you know what? I need to get connected to this lady. I want to get connected to her. And so I reached out to her. She had a program. I joined her, joined her program. Um, I paid monthly for it. Absolutely. I pay monthly for my coaching. I pay monthly for my mentor. Just like some people pay monthly to go see a counselor, I uh, pay monthly for my spiritual growth and my business growth as well. And so um, Donna is one of the, the ladies, um, boss ladies in our group. And she was like, Jackie, I'm coming to Las Vegas, me and my husband, you know, let's hook up. And I was like, cool, great. That's so awesome. But I didn't know Donna. I didn't know Donna, but see, I had been praying for godly connections and not just godly connections for me, but godly connections for my husband and I together, because it's so important because I can pray all day for godly connections for me. But what about my husband? What about my children? 
children? Are you guys praying for godly connections for your children? That they, that as they go to school, that their friends love God, that they're doing the right thing, they're making the right choices and the right decisions? Because you should be praying for godly connections and healthy connections for your children, your grandchildren, your husbands, your boyfriends, whatever. You know, and so anyway, she came out here and we had a double date and we had such a good time and we had so much, so many things in common, but that's just how God works. And those are the kinds of connections that we need. Desiree said, yes, that's my prayer for hubby and kids. Absolutely, Desiree. Shalonda, we can see the fruits of those seeds planted and invested in your life. And girl, girl, Shalonda, high, girl, high five, high five. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Shalanda. I'm so glad you said that. That just lets me know that I am on the right track. But definitely, you know, we should be praying for connections around us, around our children, around our husbands. And I just, you know, I pray every day for you ladies that, you know, um, each of these days I pray over you as far as the connections, as far as the the uh, waiting on God and hearing from God. I pray over um, each of you guys. So I'm thankful and grateful for each of you and our connections. So today's prayer. Joanne said, this is so important. Always praying for connecting. Absolutely, Joanne. Absolutely. So dear God, may you always bring healthy connections in my life to build me up and not tear me down. In Jesus name, I pray. And that's just a simple prayer. That's it. Y'all, it don't have to be no 30 minute prayer. It's a simple prayer. A simple prayer and God will do it. God will work it out for you. He will bring those healthy connections. And so the affirmation for today is I have the right connections to people and resources in my life. I have the right connections to people and resources in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, I sure did. Thank you for hopping on on a Friday. And yes, I will be back tomorrow, which is Saturday. I will be on here at 530 tomorrow. Um, if you're unavailable, that's okay, because you know you can always come back and re-listen and replay each day's um each day uh, um, challenge. So I'm excited for you guys. Have a wonderful Friday evening. Get some rest. God bless you all.